I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will explore volume of rectangular prisms. The question is how is volume of a prism related with area of base and height? Now to answer this let us consider a rectangular prism. So that is the base for our rectangular prism and then let us have this height as denoted by this orange color okay so so that is the height of our prism okay that's a rough sketch but i hope it gives you an idea that it kind of looks like a rectangular prism with base shown in the screen and height in this color orange right so so that's the rectangular prism now how do you find volume or capacity of this prism well, the relation is that volume is equals to area of base times height. So that is how you find volume of prism. So if A is the area of the base and H is the height, in that case, volume is equals to area times height. So that is how volume is related with area and height. At times I also use a triangle to show this relation and just to remember it. So we can make a triangle like this relating the three things here. So what we have is volume which we write on the top area times height area times height so so volume is area times height so that's the relation between volume area of base and height now this particular triangle helps us to write the same formula in different ways for example if i have to find what area is from volume and height i could rearrange so area will be area will be equals to volume divided by height. So you can see very clearly volume divided by height, volume divided by height. And what is the height? Height could be volume divided by area. Height could be volume divided by area. So volume divided by area, right? So, so that is how these formulas could be related. So whenever you have multiplication type of a formula, you could write it in this triangle volume is area times height and then you could rearrange to write formulas for the others area is volume divided by height height is volume divided by area so that's an easy way to remember these formulas so let's do an example here so let us say example a we are given area as 10 centimeters square and we are given height as let us say 4 centimeter then what is volume equals to volume in this case will be area times height so area times height means 10 centimeters square times 4 centimeters and that gives me 10 times 4 is 40 centimeter square times centimeter will be centimeter cube correct so that's how you find the volume let's take up another example and in this example we will be given volume here we found volume right so here let's say volume is given to us as as 50 centimeter cube and we are also given let's say area of the base as 10 centimeters square and what we need to find is height how do you find height from here well height should be equal to volume divided by area right volume divided by area volume is cube right sorry 50 centimeter cube so that means 50 centimeter cube could be written as centimeter times centimeter times centimeter divided by area of 10 centimeter square means 10 times centimeter times centimeter so this way if you write centimeter cube and centimeter square 
you can also work out the units see 2 centimeters get cancelled 50 divided by 10 is 5 so get 5 centimeters do you see that so easily we could rearrange and calculate height if we are given volume and area so I hope with this video you understand how to relate volume area and height now here is a question for you question C in this case I'll give you the volume let us say the volume is a 60 centimeter cube and instead of finding height you need to find area so we'll give you the height this time so let's say height is 15 or let it be a simple value 5 centimeters calculate the area so that is the question for you to do so you can always solve this question and write down your answer I'll provide you the answer in the comments of this video well the formula is simple area is what area is volume divided by height so dividing this volume by height will give you the answer for area I hope that makes it interesting I'm Anil Kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best